Assalamu alaikum, I'm Dr. Junaid Jahangir Abbasi and today we have a four and a half year old girl who presents to me with a constipation. He ha she has a long standing constipation and uh, the, uh, the parents were taking a lot of medication but the constipation was not improving. When I looked at the girl, I found some coarse facial features. Uh, the girl was overall slow. Uh, she has a depressed nasal bridge. Uh, a prominent uh, philtrum uh, and overall uh, the, the facial features are coarse and she had a protruding tongue also so considering the lethargy of the child when I talked to the girl she was slow in speaking and uh, when I looked at the skin the skin was dry when I looked at the skin, the skin was dry and there was a slight uh, umbilical hernia. If you can note, she had a slight umbilical hernia and uh, f for four and a half years age, she was uh, having a short stature. She had a height of 82 centimeter, whereas at four years, the height should be 100 centimeter, whereas she, she was 82 centimeter and the weight was 12 kg. So considering her dry skin, constipation, a slow lethargic speech uh, and the coarse facial features, I had a suspicion of hypothyroidism and I straight away only advised thyroid function test and I was surprised to see the report of thyroid function test. I will uh, share this report with you people. The T4 is 0.9 very very less it should be um, uh, the range is 12 to 22 then t3 is 0 0.5 it should be minimum 3.1 and then look at the tsh the tsh is more than 1000 and uh, i have never seen a tsh like this more than 1000 um, the normal range is 0 0.7 to 5.9 so uh, i made an impression of uh, hypothyroidism in this child and probably it was an undiagnosed uh, hypothyroidism uh, and uh, now let me tell you uh, some causes of uh, hypothyroidism hypothyroidism may be uh, primary it may be secondary primary can be uh, congenital or it can be acquired now congenital hypothyroidism can be due to thyroid dysgenesis thyroid agenesis uh, dyshomogenesis can be due to hypoplasia uh, can be due to ectopic gland it can be due to biosynthetic defects or it can be due to maternal thyroid disorder is ki walda ko koi gadood ka ya gale ka ya thyroid ka masla to nahi tha na okay aur ye jo bachi mein aap ne note ki hain cheeze ki bachi slow hai shuru se aur bol chal bhi iski der se ho rahi hai aur kabz bhi rehti hai ye ye sari jo alamte hain ye pehli dafa kitni umar mein note ki thi aapne ये तो so one of the complaints of the parents was also that the child is not eating well so i always teach my students ke jab bhi koi bachcha aapke paas aaye parents kahen ki ye khata nahi hai to always look into the cause rather than ki usko bhook ki dawai de de aap exactly wajah dekhein what's actually wrong what's in uh, going inside and uh, Similarly, uh, primary hypothyroidism can also be acquired. Acquired can be due to autoimmune reasons, uh, can be post-surgery, can be post-radiation, it can be due to some systemic disorder, it can be due to iodine deficiency or it can be due to some uh, drugs also. This was all about primary hypothyroidism. If we talk about secondary hypothyroidism, secondary hypothyroidism can have a congenital causes or can be have acquired causes. Congenital causes have include congenital pituitary abnormalities and receptor resistance, whereas uh, acquired causes of secondary hypothyroidism include post radiation, cranial radiation, post tumor like craniopharyngioma, post surgery or drugs like uh, antithyroid drugs, and it can be secondary hypothyroidism can be seen in Downs, Turner, or William. So, uh, I also looked this child uh, for having some uh, features of Turner syndrome like a low hairline, uh, like white space nipples and uh, like webbing of neck, uh, 
बट देर वॉज नो वेबिंग ऑफ नेक थोड़ा सा शर्ट ऊपर खींचेगा और ऊपर कर लें इन ऑर्डर टू टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट द ट्रीटमेंट वी नीड टू स्टार्ट थायरॉक्सिन टू दीज चिल्ड्रेन एंड यू मस्ट रिमेंबर द डोज ऑफ थायरॉक्सिन द डोज इन यूनिट इज टेन टू फिफ्टीन माइक्रोग्राम्स पर के जी पर डे द डोज ऑफ थायरॉक्सिन इन चिल्ड्रेन इज फोर टू फोर माइक्रोग्राम्स पर के जी पर डे एंड द डोज ऑफ थायरॉक्सिन इन एडल्ट इज टू माइक्रोग्राम्स टू माइक्रोग्राम्स पर के जी पर डे सो वंस यू स्टार्ट थायरॉक्सिन इन दिस चिल्ड्रेन यू नीड टू मॉनिटर ऑल्सो यू नीड टू सी फॉर द कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ थायरॉक्सिन ट्रीटमेंट द कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ थायरॉक्सिन ट्रीटमेंट इंक्लूड्स सूडो ट्यूमर सेरिब्राय क्रेनियोसिनोस्टोसिस एंड टेम्परामेंट प्रॉब्लम्स सो देर आर सम अदर क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ हाइपोथरॉडिज्म एज वेल लाइक स्केलेटल फीचर्स सम बोनी प्रॉब्लम्स and uh, they may have macun albright syndrome uh, they they have may have association of macun albright syndrome and they may have an association of pendred syndrome always uh, look for some autoimmune cause as well having said this i want to add that salt iodization has prevented hypothyroidism in many populations so we Uh, these children have a uh, feeling of cold uh, cool extremities kya iski jo hath paon mein thande rehte hain okay uh, sometimes uh, these children have poor memory and concentration uh, isko koi baat agar batai jaye to yaad rakhne mein thoda mushkil pesh aati hai usko ji okay uh, kabhi baal bhi girte hain ji bahut uh, sometimes these children have hair loss as well uh, kabhi hath paon soochte bhi hain रिलैक्सेज लेटर ऑन दीज चिल्ड्रन कैन डिवेलप स्पेशली गर्ल्स में डिवेलप मैचुरल प्रॉब्लम एंड दे मे डिवेलप कापल टनल सिंड्रोम एंड दे मे हैव पुअर हेयरिंग एज वेल एंड दे मे हैव पुअर सेंसेशन एज वेल पुअर हेयरिंग कैन ऑल्सो बी ए फीचर ऑफ हाइपोथरॉडिज्म स्पेशली वेन इट इज एसोसिएटेड पैंड्रेड सिंड्रोम डिलेड रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ एंकल जग इज करेक्टरिस्टिक साइन ऑफ हाइपोथरॉडिज्म Uh, and it is associated with the severity of the hormone deficiency so i will do our uh, ankle jerk and you will notice how so my assistant will show hold the camera and i will do the reflexes first we will check the knee reflex aur baat pakna aap bhai aap baat kuch nahi kuch nahi so the reflexes are slow this one is a bit better Now the ankle reflex, which is, which is mentioned, that there is slow relaxation of the ankle reflex. I hope that the camera can focus over here. Please focus here. so you can see that the ankle reflex you can see that the ankle reflex has a slow release uh, there was a clear cut slow release of the ankle reflex so with this uh, i conclude today's video and i hope that my students will learn that how hypothyroidism will look like uh, how it presents and how will we treat hypothyroidism we will do the uh, we will i'm going to start thyroxine to this child and then we will have a look on the follow up with it as well thank you so much